Hi, everyone. My name is Connor Merkley. I am on the business intelligence team here at Journey Team. And today I'm going to be going over Microsoft Fabric, really to intro the, the new product that Microsoft has released, as well as show you the lay of the land and what it has to offer. Um, so if you or your organization is interested in uh, learning more about Microsoft Fabric, uh, Microsoft actually uh, is giving everyone the ability to do a 60 day free trial. So you can come and test it out to see if you want to apply it or use it within your organization. Um, so if you're interested, uh, what you would want to do is come to the URL uh, that I've highlighted here. Uh, come to app.fabric.microsoft.com which will bring you to this landing page here that will show you uh, basically what Microsoft Fabric has to offer. And again, with the Microsoft Fabric is a tool that uh, basically is allowing you and your organization to bring your data uh, all within one product. It, it, instead of having your data siloed across many different parts of your organization or having different processes for different pieces of data, Everything can be managed from the very beginning uh, with the source all the way until the end where it's consumed by uh, users, uh, usually through the form of reports in Power BI. Uh, and so you'll see right here, yeah, in the top left-hand corner that Power BI is one of those uh, products that is rolled up into the Microsoft Fabric experience. Um, but like I said, also previous products uh, that Microsoft has brought to the market with that being data factory or synapse analytics those products which really focus on bringing the data from the source to power bi to visualize are also rolled up into this product so when you come here to this pane or to this landing page you get a really nice view uh, to understand okay what am i trying to do as a user am i trying to focus on reports uh, then i would be interested in clicking on the power bi icon Am I looking to bring data into Fabric, which you'd want to use potentially Data Factory or Synapse Data Engineering? Again, both of those tools really focus on bringing data into the uh, into the solution. Uh, but then you also have uh, data warehousing. Uh, if you're interested in building out data models as well, you can go into that product. Uh, but again, the overall arching theme is that Microsoft is focused on just bringing everything under one roof so you, that your data state is central, it's unified, it's organized, uh, and like they say, you can cl collaborate and create. To, to dive in a little bit deeper now here, once you get off the landing page, I'm going to select Power BI. And for those of you who don't know, Fabric is built on top of Power BI. So if you are a Power BI user, you'll be very familiar with this layout. Over here on the left, you have a ribbon with a lot of similar icons as to the Power BI service. Everything in Fabric is managed through workspaces. So again, we could, as if you would in Power BI, you can see a list of workspaces. I'm gonna choose my workspace, which will then show you all of the different data artifacts or data assets that you have within Fabric. And down here on, on the bottom left-hand corner, you'll notice that after I clicked Power BI, this Power BI icon showed up here in the bottom left-hand corner. And right now, because this Power BI icon is selected, if I were to create a new data asset, I would be limited to the assets specific to Power BI. So we have reports, paginated reports, and so forth. If I am interested uh, more on bringing data into Fabric, I would click this bottom left-hand icon, and then here are those list of products that I went over previously, data factory, data engineering, and so forth. By switching that and going back to my workspace, or even from this screen here, if I now click new, I have a new list of products that I can select that are more specific to the data factory uh, portion of, of Fabric. And there are a lot of options here, and as you can see, most of them are still in preview. But there's a lot of there's a lot of potential here for your organization to bring your data into Fabric, to unify your data state, and really drive and create value from your data as a whole. So if you're interested in learning more about Microsoft Fabric, please look for our blog that's coming out here shortly. Thank you.